Hi, Year 11, Mr. Roberts here. We are going to talk about revision. Yes, that big dark cloud that hangs over us every now and again, but we want to break that down and make it really clear and accessible for you all. So I'm going to talk about three things, three things uh, which will really help you when we're preparing for Knox and preparing for next summer. So number one, number one is Seneca Learning. So Seneca, uh, you are all used to using that now for home learning, but what all of your teachers will have done is to open up an assignment, um, uh, an assignment which allows you to access predicted papers, and that's predicted paper one and predicted paper two. So the boss at Seneca have identified lots and lots of different questions related to those papers um, which will help you prepare for exam questions. Now you know the best thing about Seneca as well is that you get that self-marking, you get that instant feedback to tell you how well you have done with your exam question response. And also on Seneca, um, you, can, you can keep redoing assignments as well. You can, if you didn't do so well, let's say you got 60% and you want to get more, you can do it again so we can relearn, we can practice. A bit like practicing a new sports skill. The more you do it, the more you'll remember. Number two, uh, the GCSE PE Revision Guide. Now, uh, this is produced by the PE department at South Dartmoor. And the way it's set up is that we have a summary page where each of the different six units which we cover in the GCSE PE is summarised on one page. So it's all on one page, so it's really, really straightforward with lots of different images and things like that. After that page, there are then specific exam questions which you can answer related to those topics on that page. And then there is the mark scheme after the exam questions for you to self-mark. So let's say, for example, um, health, fitness and well-being was the unit back in year nine, and you can't quite remember uh, the difference between health and fitness, or the proportion of nutrients that make up a balanced diet, um, that would be the area which you could focus on in the revision guide, and do some practice questions, and then self-mark with the mark scheme. Number three, flashcards. Now, um, my biggest uh, concern with flashcards is that people write loads and loads of information really, really small on flashcards. What I want you to focus on with your flashcards is A01. And in your head you're thinking, what's A01? A01 is knowledge, all right? What you know. Now, I'm gonna make it even simpler than that, definitions, all right? So for example, on one side of the flashcard you'll have the key term, and on the other side of the flashcard, you'll have the definition. The key thing with knowledge and knowing your definitions is that the more you know, the more you can apply. So application is AO2, remember, so you'll be able to give your examples for those sporting activities. Now, if you didn't know the definition in the first place, or you don't know what it is, how on earth are you going to give an example? So it's really important that we nail those AO ones. Now there will be other things as well, all right? I'm not going to say this is number four and five, um, but we're going to have some tell me five thing sheets which will appear in the back of your workbooks. Uh, we'll also have um, some key term sheets which are going to appear in your workbooks again, but there's going to be a number of different things uh, which your class teachers, myself, Mr. Slater, and Mrs. Hutchins are going to do over the next few weeks um, to really help you with your revision. So, most importantly, speak to your teachers as much as possible and ask for our support.